Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try the Gilmore Girls theme. This is the Carol King song where you lead, uh, you know, I'll follow. Uh, I didn't do the full song. I'm just, uh, this is a request by uh, Emma Ravithy and Emma, <laughs> my daughter, uh, and my two students. And um, it's just the Gilmore Girls theme, okay? So at the beginning of the, the show. So wish me luck, lots of chords. This is going to be a tough one. So you got. through it. Alright, I didn't sing it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to sing it and play that uh, chords. We're trying to mimic a piano, okay? So, uh, it's going to take us a while to get through this one. Let's see, uh, the strum pattern, at least for the beginning of the song, is just going to be our generic down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? I'll let you know when it changes, but that's what's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, at the, uh, at least for the beginning. We're going to change it, some of the parts, and I'll let you know when that comes in. Okay, so, uh, what are the words here? Uh, if you okay, so let's, uh, we'll just break it up into like little parts here. So we got a G chord, any G chord will do. Uh, I did two different G chords when I played it just a moment ago. Uh, I noticed. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? So you could use any G you like. Okay, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second. You could use the first two strings of the third fret. I noticed when I first started playing, I was just using the first string, third fret, and then I changed it. So it's not a big deal. Okay, G chord, you do one pattern on that. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now you can go to a regular C chord if you want. Um, on the piano, Carol King's got um, a G underneath, so she's got a C with slash G. And all that means is it's a C chord, and it's got the fifth, which is G, underneath it, the note. So that's what I was playing. So I was playing a C, uh, so a C slash G. So second string, first fret, fourth string, second, uh, the sixth string and the fifth string at the third fret. That's a C slash G. It makes a bigger sound. And it's in a lot of, a lot of cool tunes. Um, Space Oddity uses this one, David Bowie. Um, and so, but you could just use a regular C chord if you want. The fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second, second string, first. That will work just fine if you're not able to or you just don't want to bother. <laughs> okay? So, those are our first two chords. We're going to repeat a pattern each on, on each one of them. So, G to the C slash G. Back to G, C slash G, another G, this time we're going to go to an E minor, 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, and then at this point, this is where it changes, uh, our strum pattern changes. We're going to have an A minor, 2nd string 1st fret, 4th string, 3rd string 2nd fret, and I'm just going to do down, down, up on that chord, and then I'm going to go to a D7. 2nd string 1st fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st string 2nd fret. That's a D7 chord, same thing, down, down, up. Okay, so that little part is A minor, D7, and it's down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so now let's back up. This next chord is going to scare you, <laughs> but I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to leave these two fingers down. So second string first fret and third string second fret are going to stay there. My ring finger is going to come all the way to the sixth string third fret, 
fifth, uh, fourth string third fret also. So it's called F slash G, and uh, you could just use a regular F if you want, but it'll be very plain. And this is the chord that the piano is playing. So it's F slash G means F with a G in the bass. That's all it means. And you're going to go back to your previous strum. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay. So I'm going to start at the A minor part. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay. And this is the beginning of the hard part, okay? For most of us. I had to practice this together. Okay, so, uh, all right, let's move on. Now a regular C chord. Fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second, second string, first fret. This one, I'm going to do that short strum. Down, down, up. Then I'm going to go to an F slash C, and we're going to go down, up, down. So down, up, down. Then I'm going to go back to C and go up. So this is the tough measure in the tune. It sounds like this. Okay? So my F slash C, don't get it confused with F slash G, is just an F chord, but uh, so second string first fret, third string second fret. Uh, I'm going to play the fifth string third fret and the fourth string, did I say fifth string third fret and fourth string third fret. So it's an F with a C in the bass. And that fattens it up, and I'm going to go down, up, down. It's the only time it's down, up, down. It's on this chord in the song, I think. Then I'm going to go back to a C chord and go up. Okay, so this is... So down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's the toughest part in the song, in my opinion. Uh, just because you got to change the rhythm, okay? Right in the middle of that measure. So let's go back to the beginning and put it all together now. G, if you're on the road, C, and then G, C, G, E minor, A minor to D7, F slash G, and then C, F slash G. <laughs> I can't yell them all quick enough. So that's that. For, uh, now, now you got a little bit of a break, okay? Okay, so you just got through hitting the C on the up. You're going to stay on the C chord and go down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you're going to go to an F chord, regular F chord, second string, first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, third fret. I'm going to wrap my thumb to grab the sixth string, first fret, and I'm going to mute everybody else. And I'm just going to do the same down, down, up, up, down, up, then back to a C, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So you're halfway there. We're at the halfway point. Okay? So uh, let's play it. Halfway point. G, if you're on the road, feeling lonely, and so cool. All you gotta do is go my way. Then on the next train, where you leave. Got the words. <laughs> okay. So that's a halfway point. Congratulations, you made it this far. All right, now we're going to change our strum. We're going to stay on the C chord, and we're going to go down, down, up. Again, the short strum, I'm going to call it. Then we're going to go to a G slash B. That's the, uh, it's like a G chord without the sixth string. Fifth string, second fret. Third string, second fret. First string, second, uh, third string, uh, second string, third fret. First string, third fret. Okay, so, uh, it's like a, a G chord without the sixth string, that's all. But people have trouble with this, I don't know why. So, uh, down, down, up. Then you go to an A minor, which we talked about. Same, down, down, up. Now we're going to go to a C7 slash G. Okay, now it's not that big a deal. These two fingers are going to stay right where they are. So, second string, first fret. Fourth string, second fret. I'm going to lift up my ring finger and go to the sixth string, third fret. And add my pinky on the third string, third fret. That's a, a C7 slash G. Okay? So from the A minor, it's not a big deal because I only have to pick up the one finger and then add the pinky. So it's not that big a deal. So I'm going to back up to down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so that was a C, G slash B, A minor. C7 slash G.
Okay? I know this is confusing. Sorry. There'll be a link to all my work. You can see what I've written out because I keep looking at it because <laughs> I don't have it memorized. All right. Now, at this point in the song, we're going to change our strum yet again. This time we're just going to hit one down on these chords for a while. Uh, I'm going to do a, a small F chord. So it's the uh, second string, first fret, third string, second fret fourth string, third fret. And I'm really going to only hit those three strings. I might hit the first string on some of these chords, but so that's basically what we're what I'm attempting to tell you. So F, the small F. Then I'm going to go to a C slash E, which is the fourth string, second fret, the open third, and then the second string, first fret, and maybe the open first string if you want. Um, doesn't really matter. I don't play the two bass strings, okay? So I don't do a regular C chord because I want that pa passing bass line. I want to hear this. That's what I want to hear in the uh, bass, so. So it's F, C slash E. Then I'm going to go to a D minor 7. I'm going to bar the top two strings at the first fret and then the third string second fret open fourth string, that's my D minor 7, then I'm going to grab the sixth string, third fret, this is going to be a D minor 7 slash G, this note's G, I'm going to hit this by itself and then strum the chord. So that little section, very difficult, and yet not too hard. <laughs> Not bad. And if you don't hit all the strings or whatever, if you don't get it quite right, it's still okay. Okay? Then we're going to go back to that chord, uh, the F slash G. It's not that big a deal because you're almost there anyway. All you have to do is you keep the second string first fret, the third string second fret, leave your ring finger here on the sixth string third fret. You've got everybody. Just pick up your hand off the first string. You can even leave it down if you want because it is part of the chord. Uh, and then just add your pinky on the 4th string 3rd fret. And what I do with that one is I do a different strum. I go down, down. So down, down, I hit the 6th string 3rd fret, and then down, down. That's all I do. So this is a really hard part of the song. Uh, but you're almost there. We, we've got, we're pretty far in now. So let's try it from the beginning and put it all together at this point. you did earlier with the C chord. So from here on in, you actually know how to play this part, okay? So this is just the C where you go down, down, up. You go quickly to the C slash, uh, sorry, the F slash C and do the down, up, down. Then go back to the C with up, down, down, up, up, down. Then the F chord to the C chord. And then the short strum on the C to the G slash B, to the A minor, to the C7 slash G, and then you go back to one strum each on F, C slash E, D minor 7, hit the 6th string 3rd fret, hit the D minor 7 slash G, and then just end the song, and the, yeah, the song on a C chord. Um, if you listen real closely to the, uh, when the Gilmore Girls come on and you hear it, uh, Carol King keeps playing and they're fading her out. So I'm just going to end on C, but she keeps playing because she didn't, they just took her song and put it on the show. They didn't ask her to do a re, or maybe they did at some point, I don't know. But not at the beginning anyway. So, we got it. All right, hopefully we got it. So here, I'll play through again. If you're out on C chord and a G chord back to C slash G. G, all you got to do is E minor.
for watching. Uh, hit the like button, will you? You know you liked it. Um, <laughs> please subscribe and play more guitar. Uh, that one goes out to you, Emma, and you, Emma, and you, Ravithy. <laughs>